ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome to Maui and to Moto Trippin. Thanks for the gloves, man. You are Moto Rippin. So, oh wait, we forgot about the intro. Bring in the intro. Who's that? Oh, that, my friends, is Mr. Hawks, international man of mystery on the DR650, baby. He's a, he's a fellow Mauian, wedding, wedding photographer, printing company extraordinaire. And just good all around guy. Ah, oh, except when he's freaking roosting me, bastard. So before today's mission begins, we are, uh, we're venturing, right now we're in Paia Town. Those of you who have been watching this, this channel, uh, you guys, you guys know Maui, gosh, probably better than I know it by now. We're on the North Shore of Maui, right above Paia Town. Oh my gosh, this crap is slippery. It was raining like a horse's arse last night. Um, we're right above Paia Town, and there's there was an old ah oh, stop roosting me. There was an old uh, right up here a sugar mill, and it's been seemingly dormant for quite a while now. But uh, we're just scoping it out. We're in ninja mode right now, and we're just checking out the the the. Uh, the what? The architecture? What? Huh? No, no, I'm just talking to the uh, yeah. to the world. Yeah, that's some sort of a ramp. I hiked up there yesterday on top of that. Were you able to get back there to the all those dilapidated buildings? Oh, there's a fence right there. Ah, I see. You can see the fence right here now. Well, I guess we can't talk about your fence, your brand new fence cutters on the interwebs, huh? <laughs> Okay, we'll just, we'll beep that out. Ooh, look at this happy little mud. Let's do a wheelie through it. Nice moves, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's, it is a slippery little, little hippie today. But yeah, so this is, um, this is all at, oh, why isn't my, Brain working. This is all a. Uh, hold on, that looks like a nice little road to go down. Hawks, have you gone down that road right there? This is an old uh, sugarcane mill that has been uh, retired. But these places, they always end up, you know, leveling them. But before they level them, they're like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm into photography and I love old crap like this, rusty reds and, oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, there's like an old Mercedes or something parked in there. It's probably been parked in there for eons. But this stuff is such great. Um, Great, uh, what's it called? Subject matter for photography. Oh, look at that. That is an old Mercedes. Wait, what the hell is there? There's like a canoe in there. Creepy. Where the hell did the hawks go? Oh, there's his dirty little trail. You like that? You like that tracking ability? Yeah, so the Hawks is um, just as much of a photo junkie as myself. So I don't really know how far we're going to make it today. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let, let's check that photo out, Hawks Master. It's great to have a biker in there. All right, I can get in there. Can you guys see that? Nice composition. Looks like Beijing, China. Okay, let me get in there. 
smile, you're on candid camera. Shut your face. Book. Ah, ah, ah. Mahu Vahing Ahan. What do you think, Hawksmaster? We've got a fork in the road. This happens a lot in this thing we call life. You think the path on the right is going to lead us to enlightenment and joy? All right. I'll follow you. After all, you are the Hawks Master. What the hell is that, Hawks? Jeez. I might have to air down if there's going to be more of that. Look at your front tire, that's just a mess. You were like this the entire... This little segment is brought to you by Ding King Fiberglass Works Incorporated. Because we're currently jacking their water source. Shh, it's gonna be our little secret. I know, I know, you wanna keep the dirty girls dirty, but this dirty girl's got a license plate under there. And we're about to jump on the highway for few minutes. Give her a light little spray down with the heavy stuff and put it back on the road. And so after a quick little rinse of the bike, the adventure continues. I can't remember where I was at, whether or not I was talking about where we're going, but I sure as hell know where we've been. So where we're going is up there on the mountain. You see that little that little tail there on the cloudscape? We're gonna be in that little matrix up there. You yeah. gas? Yeah. After a short gas stop and a little bit of a scare with a flat tire, a mysterious flat tire, the mission continues. I think uh, the Hawks is going to lead this party now. And we are headed up to a place called P.E. Holo. And it's um, now we're up country. So we're, we're still in line with Paia, Maui on the North Shore. But we're up. Oh my. We were kind of wondering. This rain is looking kind of sketchy. Merry Christmas. This is just, oh my gosh. Maybe if I do a wheelie, it'll... Nope, that didn't stop it. Damn, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, guys, I gotta, I gotta take this GoPro and put it in my pocket for a couple of minutes here. One of the downsides of rolling with the naked, the naked GoPro. Okay, then we'll uh, we'll continue in a minute. Don't worry, the party's the party is still going. The par where's the, hawk? the hawks just disappeared. The party is still rocking and a rolling. There's just not much to see on the way up there, so we'll catch you in a minute. Cut. Uh, I wish you guys could smell the the uh, aromas of a wet forest. Hey, that didn't sound right. Ah. Kind of sound right. Oh wow, look at this. Holy rain blast, Batman. Alright, I think the GoPro, if it's still working, it's got to go back in the old... In the old case. Or not case, but pocket. This is really nice up here. I've never been down this driveway. Super, super cool. Hold on. Sorry, Moto Trippin'. The gloves that you gave me are starting to really get broken in. Hold on, let me wipe your face off. How's that? Better? Good. Oh my gosh, that would be fun to just raise hell in. Like zero tire pressure. Alright ladies and gentlemen, there's been a slight delay. We're just waiting for this little shower to pass on by. Looks like it might. Look at that. We got some we've got some blue skies. 
hanging at the P.E. Holo Ranch. Two horses in the stable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the mission has changed just a little bit. We are aboarding the P.E. Holo Mountain Trail Ride because uh, we were just down for about 45 minutes and it doesn't look like this rain is gonna pass. It keeps coming in heavily pulsating squalls. And although these machines are more than fully capable of riding in this kind of weather, the trails up there are just, it just, it just doesn't, it becomes like a, a chore to manage all the slippery, slidey root structures up there. So, we're gonna try to get into some other trouble somewhere else. You guys are about to see what's really cool about living on Maui. Localized weather, baby. Right now, we're, we seem to have chosen a patch of landscape on the beautiful island of Maui that seems to be just dumping rain everywhere. Oh my god. So we're just, we're on a mission right now. It's called Mission Sunlight. We're out of the rain. See that rain out there? That's where we were. Look at that. Collateral damage. See the shirt? The sleeve? Toasted. And we, right now, are at my son's favorite little fruit stand here. Kula Country Farms. I'm gonna go in and grab a banana or two. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh strawberry lemonade. I'll take one of those. Unlabeled, just the way we like it. Fresh strawberry lemonade. We're gonna try to get over the hill over here somewhere, and there's no real access from up country to the Kihei area. We're gonna make an attempt to see if we can make our own access. How was it? Strawberry lemonade? Pretty delicious. Was it? Yeah. On a scale of one to eight point five, what would you give it? I'd give it a seven, a seven five. Seven five? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, so the mission, the new mission is to try to get down there where there are no roads, no access roads at all. Thank you very much for letting us pass you. <laughs> Hercules. All right, mission coastal access continues. We are on the southwest side of Maui and there's actually like an MX track down here. We we might actually get into it a little bit. <clears throat> Our goal is to get past this cinder cone here and get down there <laughs> somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm rolling in eco mode right now, right about now. Oh my gosh, the cinder is sleepy. To say the least. Ugh. Momentum, momentum. Ooh, ooh, e, ah, e, ooh. Gross. Lava rocks are not the funnest type of terrain to ride on. They just shred your world into pieces. Okay, where's my line? Where's my line? There it is. Oh my gosh, over the stupidest part ever. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta follow the line you're following. Oh, no. Alright guys, I gotta bring you back into the show because between the last cut that just happened right now and this one, it's been about 30 minutes of just going down this mountain. I don't know if you guys can remember how, oh, how far away the ocean appeared to be from, uh, from the first shot or one of those earlier shots. But holy crap, this is the longest freaking gigantic oversized gravelathon I've ever been on. Just gnarly, just kicking tires all over the place. Oh, there's Mr. Hawks, the international man of mystery. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys back to back online when we're closer to a civilization. <laughs> civilization, my arse. 
Well, 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 look at what we have here.